Hello students, um, if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Taryn Myers, and I am the creator of this course, as well as your instructor for summer five. So I want to welcome you to Ethics and Professional Issues, which is our capstone course in psychology. And I look forward to working with you over the next uh, seven-ish weeks or so. I wanted to make this video just to walk you through the logistics of the course um and show you how everything works particularly if you haven't done one of these online asynchronous courses before so if you look here on the left just like a typical blackboard page there's lots of great info um, obviously you can start at welcome first day um, if you click on meet the instructor oh and you're going to get a little visit from my cat Simba. <laughs> um, so he will be here uh, you might see some tail hi bud um, so you meet the instructor, there's uh, my bio and things along those lines, how to contact me, how to schedule a meeting with me. Um, there are is a link to the syllabus, even if you've already downloaded it, I highly recommend you take a look just because I tweaked a couple things this morning, um, things that, uh, you know, just make it easier to understand, basically. And then uh there is a course talk section where you can meet your classmates you'll also be doing a video introduction this week for that and then when you're ready to begin learning you can click there um so this course is set up in a module format so that means each week you'll complete a module this week is a little truncated obviously so you don't have that much to do wednesday tomorrow um but typically about half your work is due on wednesday and about half or maybe two thirds is due on the sunday um, at the end of each week essentially so um you can either get to learning modules through this begin learning or you can click over here on the side for learning modules. So um, you will see there's one for each week. The exception is at the end of the course, modules seven and eight, uh, you will complete together. Uh, the summer courses are very slightly um, shorter than the fall or spring courses. So those last two modules kind of get squished together. Uh, so let me show you uh, what you'll typically be doing in each module. Uh, so you'll always have a little introduction that I've written about what we're covering that week, some objectives, there'll be some nice tips here throughout. Okay, then you'll have your reading and viewing assignments. Um, so for each half of the module, <laughs> you'll typically have um, assigned reading from your books and then some supplementary readings as well. So typically you're only gonna have one chapter from the careers book uh, by Cuther and Morgan, um, and then one or two chapters to skim uh, from the Decoding the Ethics Code book by Fisher. Um, for the first half module here, the why are we taking this course module, uh, you'll see there are two chapters in the career books. The career book is the chapters are really short and readable. Um, so you'll see the tip here on the side that uh, start practicing moving through dense material quickly. You're going to work on skimming, focusing on the most important part of the reading. There is a lot of reading because this is a 400 level capstone course. Okay, so this is like as close as you would get to a graduate level course while you're still in undergrad. So, uh, you know, there is a lot of reading and I acknowledge that in this condensed format, that'll be even more challenging, right? Uh, but we will go from there. Um, I know that you can do it and, you know, again, good skimming skills. So if you were to click on any of these links, uh, it's just going to take you to the PDF for that article. And as you can see, some of them are super short, um, maybe a page, page and a half. Some are a little longer. Um, I've tried to, throughout the course, uh, incorporate readings about, oh, so now we don't need to print, bud. Um, <laughs> incorporate readings about uh, and its influence on psychological health and ethics surrounding the pandemic, uh, as well as information about um, 
systemic racism, since that is obviously a really important point uh, that has been made even more clear in the past year, year and a half. All right, so the, what is ever is on this page is uh, what uh, you should read for class discussions. And then for each uh, section chapter, I have also created small videos. These are pretty short. I think they're all 10 minutes or less, um, but they're just introductions to those particular portions of the course. Then you'll have a list of supplemental resources uh, in each module. Um, these are things that will be really helpful to you. Uh, part of the goal of this course is to help y'all start to figure out what am I gonna do after I get my degree? Um, so these can be really helpful for that. Um, you're not required to read or view all of these. There will be videos as well that you can watch that might be more helpful, uh, but you know, particularly if you are trying to figure out a certain aspect of it or that part of psychology really interests you, I highly recommend these. And these are things I've carefully curated that I find the most helpful. So for example, would really strongly recommend this like, what can you do with a psychology degree uh, video? Because that's something to be thinking about going forward. And even if you're, you know, something like a social science major, uh, certainly something to think about. All right, uh, for this first week, you'll be submitting uh, class facilitation topics. So you're gonna choose a chapter from the career book where you will be the one leading discussion. And I have some examples this week. Um, so you will see that uh, throughout this. Um, so when you are leading discussion, I'd like you to create four to five posts in the discussion forum for that week for that topic um, and bring in outside materials so videos um, you know if there's something on the news that's related do that and you are posting questions for your classmates to respond to on those discussion forums and again I have examples for you uh, these first few uh, sections so then you will be graded on this throughout the semester uh, about 75 points of that come from me. And then the other 25 points come from your fellow students. And I'll kind of show you how you're going to rate each other there. Um, again, here's some nice instructions. Do three topics just in case everybody wants to do the same topic. It's happened before. Um, I'll try to give everybody their first or their second choice, especially since this particular semester, it's a smaller course. Um, so submit those. And this is one of the only things you have due tomorrow, the 7th, um, because again, it's a little bit of a truncated uh, week because of the holiday. Alrighty. The next thing I'm gonna have you do this week, this will be the only time you do this, uh, is to do video introductions. Um, and there's instructions there on how to do that. And um, what I recommend, you can upload videos to Blackboard, but sometimes it's really clunky with them. Um, upload them to Google Drive or if you have a YouTube channel uh, and then just put the link uh, in the uh, description rather than, um, you know, uploading. And these are shorter, so it's probably fine to upload them, but later in the semester you'll have a longer video. And typically I found that Blackboard takes a really long time to upload the longer stuff. All right, you'll also have blogs, at least one each week. Um, and these are things that you yourself decide what you want to talk about based on anything that's covered that week. Um, so there are 10 of these, you only have to do seven. So you get uh, three when you don't have to worry about it. Um, and so this is you write for yourself a, you know, 200 and 300 word uh, discussion really about what you've thought about, something that it relates to. Um, if you want, you can comment on each other's blogs. Uh, and actually, this is inaccurate. I actually took away the comments on each other's blogs for points. So I will fix this when I'm done making this video. And uh, you will um, instead feel free to comment, but uh, you won't be deducted if you don't get to comment here. I'd much rather you spend your time and energy commenting in the discussion sections. Alrighty, so 
here are the discussions and what they'll look like. Uh, so each week you're going to have two of these to do, one for each chapter we're covering. If you click to launch, it will take you right there. And as I said, here are my examples that I've done for you. Um, and so, you know, they might say, here's a video, uh, here's some articles to skim. Um, and this particular opening activity is about uh, psychology's involvement in torture which unfortunately has been a thing. Um, so thinking about that. And so here's some of the supplemental videos uh, and uh, things along those lines, give you ideas. Um, you're thinking about skills that you've learned in psychology that might make you marketable. That's really important to start thinking about. You know, and here's another one. Uh, we're shorter video, some other things to look at. And so again, when you are the discussion leader, I'd like you to create four or five of these posts to your, for your classmates to respond to. When you are the discussion, discussion, <laughs> like just typical weeks, right? I tell people to think about this as if you were in class, right? So if you are in class, there might be a week where you're not as into the topic and you only comment once and that's okay. Uh, but there might also be a week where you're really into the topic and you might talk six times in class and that's also fun. Um, so at least once, but as many times as you want basically. And each of your comments should be substantial, right? Add to a conversation, not just be like, yes, I agree. Uh, so, you know, make sure that you're making that part of your discussion. All right. After you do the discussions, there will typically be a Google form for you to fill out to rate the discussion leader. Um, in this particular case, there is not just because I'm the discussion leader and you don't need to <laughs> rate me, okay? Each uh, module will also end with an exam. This one's slightly out of order, so I will, again, update that uh, when I'm done making this video. Typically, this is the last thing you'll do. Um, these are typically going to have some definitions that you have to do, or you talk about what would a psychologist in the subfield of psychology do and how might they conduct research? Um, as research is a big part of psychology, psychology is a science. And then uh, for each one, you will also have a brief uh, case study and then you respond to it. What's the ethical problem? What are the principles and standards of the ethics code that apply? And uh, what should that mental health professional have done differently? Okay, and then here you see there's a discussion for the next chapter topic. Okay, this one is much more elaborate. You don't need to be this elaborate. I just, I'm a clinical psychologist by training, so I got really excited and <laughs> made lots of different ones. Uh, but again, just to give you uh, some examples here of, uh, you know, the types of things you can ask. And again, as you are responding to either my threads that I've created or ones that your classmates will create, you don't have to respond to, again, here, I posted nine, too many, right? <laughs> you don't have to respond to all nine. Again, you can choose one and respond to it. Or if you're really enthusiastic about the idea of clinical psychology, you can do all of them. There will be practice ethics scenarios here um, where you can uh, respond and then classmates can kind of chime in. So these will be great practice for your exam as well. There we go. <laughs> the other thing they'll be doing in this class, and I think there are six of you enrolled, so we'll probably just do three and three, is you will be doing a group project. It's pretty low stakes. You're just going to be doing some sort of PowerPoint or presentation, um, but it's a cool activity. So I'll take you through the instructions here uh, where you choose one of these two options and um, you'll present it at the end of the semester as a group. So you can either kind of make up your own case study and respond to it in the same way you will throughout the semester in the discussions and the exams. Or you can say that you were writing an ethics code for the psychology department. And what do you think should be in there? Um, so again, 
If you know people in the class, this is the time to start forming with them. If you don't know anyone, that's cool. And I will um, assign you to groups and you will use the groups portion of Blackboard as part of that. And so this, uh, you'll always end with a summary and a looking ahead, kind of letting you know what is coming up. Okay, so then if you want to, you're done with that module, you can just click this little home button and it will take you back. Um, I'll put announcements here throughout the semester with important points. Um, if you want to get to information about that group project, you would put here. There's other great uh, direct links here. So if you just want to get right to the discussions or right to the weekly blogs, you can do that there. There's a link to the library. There's things along those lines. The other thing that you don't have an assignment for, uh, you know, throughout the course, but that you want to keep in mind that you have to do is um, you're going to be writing a big paper kind of reflecting on what uh, the major has helped you figure out you want to do when you graduate and then sort of how you're going to get there. Um, so just be kind of thinking about that in the back of your mind. Don't leave it till the last minute. Just show you a couple other quick highlights here. Again, each module will look very similar in terms of the things that are available to you. Um, one of the things you need to do by the end of next week, next module, is to meet with me. Um, and you set that up through a link on Calendly. Uh, so that can be found on the syllabus. That can be found on the My Instructor portion as well. Uh, and if the times that I have listed don't work for you, please let me know. I'm pretty flexible over the summer, and I can make something work. Okay, so then you'll have, again, blogs to do about each topic we cover. You'll have discussions to do. And here is that uh, reading form. So when you click on this, it will take you to a Google form and you fill out the topic for the class and the name of the discussion leader. If the discussion leader is me, which will happen quite a bit, throughout the semester, since again, there's not that many of you, uh, you do not have to fill one out. You can just skip this portion, okay? But again, this helps your classmates get that grade. And then again, discussion on the second topic and um, the exam for module two, very similar to module one. And uh, by the end of the uh, second week, we're gonna be doing a group project topic statement. Uh, and there's discussion leader rating for the friends of psychology one. And again, a summary and a look ahead. So please feel free to contact me via email uh, with any questions that you do have. Uh, and I will really look forward to interacting with you online over the course of the semester. Um, again, I'm available with any questions you have and hopefully this video is helpful in kind of walking you through everything. Um, the last thing I'll say is that I consider this course still in COVID times and so I'm being very flexible about deadlines. Um, so I'll let you turn in any work till the end of the semester. That being said, don't let yourself get too far behind. Um, some people in my last course uh, did that. Um, my asynchronous course, and um, I think it really it was hard for them at the end of the semester. So try to keep up, but if there's anything you do need to turn in late, know that you won't be penalized in any way for it. All right, I hope that this was helpful to you. I'll also send an email with this link uh, and a couple instructions. All right, looking forward to it. Bye-bye, y'all.